Okay, I uh, I told you uh, a little bit ago here that my dad taught me uh, songs when I was about five or six years old on the harmonica. My dad was uh, special. He was like any dad ought to be special, but he was blind all his life. He went blind when he was 12 years old. Uh, when he was just a small boy, they used to tie a, a handkerchief around his eyes. And he was born in 1892. And he couldn't go out in the bright sun. He couldn't open his eyes if the light was bright because his eyes, they called it weak eyes back then. Uh, he went to Philadelphia to the Will's Eye Hospital when he was 17 years old. That was after he was blind totally for five years. And, and they had some of the best specialists in Philadelphia to examine him. And they said, uh, young man, I'm sorry to say, but you'll never see. And they dad said he might as well hit him over the head with a hammer because that's all he lived for. They told him he was going to see. Well, uh, he bought a farm before the Depression. Uh, the farm that I live on now, that uh, that's our second son farms. And uh, I can't go anywhere in that farm and I can't see the memories where Dad helped to clean the fence rows and he milked cows by hand. And uh, he hauled hay. He couldn't run a tractor, but he could load a load of hay on the wagon as straight as anybody could see. He never saw an automobile or a tractor, but he was one of the best mechanics in the country. And I learned pretty young to let his pile of parts alone because he knew when he took something apart where he put where he put the parts and he knew how he took it apart and he knew how to get it back together. Anybody that does engine overhaul and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, he had some of the best hunting dogs in the country. He, could, he couldn't shoot a gun, but he could walk through the thickest brush between my brother and I and. Uh, the rabbit would jump out, he'd holler, there he goes, and he'd put the dog on the rabbit, and we learned pretty young how to hunt rabbits. Uh, he'd throw a ball to me, but I had to carry it back to him, but other than that, uh, he did everything any other dad would do. Here's, uh, here's a song we wrote about him. He's been gone now for 20, 24 years about. Uh, we still live on the same farm, and still uh, run over the same acres, and uh, Dad, one of Dad's favorite verses was, I walk by faith, not by sight. When Paul wrote that in Romans, uh, Dad took that literally. So here's, here's a song I wrote, and we call it Memories of Dad. We'd like to do it for you now. 